Flexion check. Similar to reinforced concrete design, pre-stressed concrete member is to be checked against the allowable deflection. We need to make sure that the member does not endure excessive deflection so that the members are always in good conditions during the serviceability limit states. When we talk about deflections, normally we are referring to the ratio of L over D. It is a ratio of the span of the beam divided by its effective depth. There is a limit in terms of the L over D, which is later to be compared with the actual L over D. The actual L over D needs to be lesser than the limiting L over D. This slide presents how do we calculate for the deflection limit. What you see here, the calculation steps for the deflection is actually totally same as the reinforced concrete member. There are two equations for the L over D. Depending on the percentage of the reinforcement bar in the section, whether it is greater or lesser than the raw node. The raw node is in the functions of FCK, which is concrete strength. For you to calculate the deflection, you need to first determine the rho, which is the AS provided divided by cross-sectional area of the member. It is then checked against the raw node. If the raw is less or equal to raw node, these equations will be used. Otherwise, you may use this equation. Within the equation, there is a factor K. This factor can be referred from Table 7.4 and Eurocode 2 Part 1. It is a factor representing the structural system, whether it is simply supported or continuous. And then there are FCK, concrete strength, Raw node, which we have calculated earlier on, as well as the raw as given in the equation here. In the case that the second equation is being used, there will be raw prime. The raw prime represents the area of compression reinforcement bar in the member, as given in the formula here. Substitute the relevant value into the equation. You will get L per D limiting. This L per D limiting is actually the basic deflection limit, which later need to be multiplied with the modification factors to be more representative to the situation. There are a few modification factors related to this. First is the ratio of the flame width and the breadth of the web. If the width of the flame is more than three times bigger than the web, there will be a modification factor of 0.8. This will reduce the limiting L per D ratio and the requirement become more stringent. In terms of the span of the beam, if the span is more than 7 meter, you may use the modification factors of 7 divided by its effective span length. The longer the span, the smaller the modification factor. This again will lead to a modification factor of less than 1.0 and further reduce the L per D limiting. Next, the scrap of the steel is also contributing to the modification factor. If the steel grade is not equal to 500 Newton per mm square, the modification factor will be equal to 500 divided by its steel grade. Also, the amount of reinforcement bar provided 
if it is more than the reinforcement bar required, the ratio can be computed by the AS provided divided by AS required. However, this modification factor is kept at 1.5. If the ratio of this is greater than 1.5, the modification factors will be equals to 